Good morning and welcome to Vintage 16 of the Wine Decoded Bathtub Winemaking Project. This year we've scored some amazing fruit from around Gruyere in the Yarra Valley, so it's actually Seville East. It's a beautiful vineyard that's been maintained wonderfully by a great viticulturist. And we're going to have a look at some samples of that today because we think we'll be picking it later this week. So the things that we're really going to be interested in looking at are the condition of the fruit. And if you have a look at this, this is a, uh, a Shiraz bunch. You can see nice loose berries, uh, open bunch, a little bit of a spider's nest in there. Um, but overall, what we can see is there's absolutely no disease on there. No disease on any of the berries and no disease on the stalk. And that's really important to us because we're actually going to incorporate a bit of stalks into the winemaking process because they have a lovely spicy character. So, check one, the fruit's in really good condition. The next thing we really want to do is have a look and see what the flavours are like and what the tannins like, what the textures are like in there. So we're looking at not just the, the, the berries and the skins on the outside, but the seeds on the inside as well. So we'll grab a few berries, have a bit of a munch and see what we get. I... Things are tasting really right. Some great flavours in there. Some darker red fruits. Mm. And particularly some finer tannin. And if you have a look there, you can see that we've got some beautiful ripe seeds. Those seeds are all starting to brown off quite nicely. So you don't have those green seeds that are probably going to give you some harder tannin and some harsher tannin. What we've got is some nice ripe tannins in there. And those skins are really... I've got some lovely tannin in them. So, check one. Disease free. Check two. We've got some nice tannins in there. It's tasting ripe. Now, what we like to do then is a little bit of a backup to check on whether the sugar levels are at, 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 a, at, at an appropriate level to make good wine out of. And we measure that using a hydrometer. So we extract some liquid out of, the, uh, out of the fruit and we float this hydrometer in it and it tells us how much sugar is in the juice. And it measured in, in this case in Bome and each Bome is equivalent to about a percentage of alcohol. So if we see about 12 Bome, we know that we're going to make around about a wine of about 12% alcohol, probably a little bit more. Uh, so how do we do that? Well, let's have a go. So we've got a nice big bowl of Shiraz fruit in here. And what we're going to do is squish all of this up, extract as much juice as we can, and then have a taste of just the juice and uh, measure that juice for its sugar content. So let's start. First thing we've got is a Cristal bottle. We use a Cristal bottle, very important, uh, because it's got a no punt, so it's nice and flat and it's gonna make it easier to squish our grapes. So if we get in there, here comes the pasty, and give them a good squish. That starts to get a nice, amount of juice out. So Shiraz typically has thinner skins than say your Cabernet and, uh, and can be quite soft and slippery as a ferment. Um, really juicy. So we've got a fair bit out there. What we'll do now is give this a little bit of a squelch with our hand. You can see the juice is coming out beautifully. Really try and squish out as much as we can. See some a little bit of colour extracting from the skins even just through this process. We'll get a heap out when we do the uh, fermentation. And spit a little bit. And again you can see with a lot of these seeds in there, we're seeing good ripe seeds like there, there. These are all looking ready to go. So next thing, let's strain a little bit of juice out, see what we can get. It's all in there. Good start. Got a good collection in there. I'll squeeze these out a bit more.
pasty again. I need lots of juice coming out. Get as much as we can out. Get a really good representation of the, the sample. The pros have lovely little sample presses for this, but uh, this is the bathtub wine making project, so everything goes ghetto style. Uh, we'll uh, get all of that beautiful juice in there. So, now what we want to do is get it into something that we can do a sample in and, and test that bow So we'll try and uh, whoa, pour this into here. See how we go. You can see the colour that's already extracted. If we over pour, we'll get all the froth off. Now we get that out of the way. And so what we're doing here now is having a, just about to have a look at the sugar levels that we've got in this, uh, in this juice. So it looks beautiful, beautiful colour. Here's our hydrometer. So we'll spin and float this in our juice. And it'll float at a level that'll tell us the sugar. So it's actually saying that, wow, we're already at around about 13.2. Now one of the things that we have to do is adjust this for temperature. So we put our temperature probe in there. It's saying it's at about 18.9 degrees, so only an edge cooler. So it's probably at about 13.1 Bome, this fruit. So let's now do the next most important thing is actually have a good taste of the juice. So, check one, clean fruit. Check two, the fruit tastes good. We've got some nice ripe tannins in the skins and the seeds. We've got a sugar level that's gonna make an appropriate alcohol wine, so at about 13.1. And now we wanna taste the juice as well. So, here in the glass you can see that we got a good sample. We'll give it a smell. Certainly no green characters in there, no unripe characters in there. Everything's all really ripe and, and smelling like it's ready to rock. We've got some great intensity of flavour. can already feel some really nice fine tannin in there. So I think this is basically ready to go. This should be coming off the vine and I think it uh, will we'll look to have this off the vine by the middle of the week and into the winery in the next couple of days. So we'll look forward to giving you an update on, uh, on, on the first, first stage of, uh, of, of crushing this, picking the fruit and crushing it and, uh, and getting it into our fermentation vats. So yeah, that's fruit sampling for you. Thanks for joining us on uh, Wine Decoded for episode one of a Vintage 16 bathtub winemaking project. This year, a beautiful Yarra Valley Shiraz. Cheers.